TINY BUT IMPORTANT PIECE OF MARVEL COMICS HISTORY IS BEING REISSUED FOR HARDCORE COLLECTORS AND A NEW GENERATION OF FANS TO ENJOY. AUTHOR MARK Evanier JOINS US RIGHT NOW WITH MARVEL'S MONEY BOOM! Yeah. Mark, I want to go out. I want to go out and see the chalk paintings. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back before we start talking about this new project of yours. The year was 1969. You were a production assistant for whom? Well, in '69, I became the assistant to a man named Jack Kirby, Jack, who was get responsible out of here. for uh, creating and co-creating and drawing most of the Marvel superheroes. Uh, an amazing man, one of the few people I ever met in my life who was worthy of the term genius, which gets thrown around a lot <laughs> and applied to people who don't deserve it. But Jack invented or co-invented almost everything about superhero comics and adventure comics and fantasy comics. And uh, uh, he had nothing to do with the Marvel mini books, except that most of these characters originated in the first place on his drawing board. Uh, he drew the Thor comic book, <coughs> but he did not draw the Thor mini book, um, these things. He, in fact, he worked on all these characters that you're seeing here now, except for Millie the model. Um, wow. And he was the first artist on Thor, the first artist on Hulk, the first artist on Captain America back in the 1940s. Uh, an amazingly talented man. Uh, I. My involvement with the mini books preceded my meeting Jack. I met Jack in July oh. of 1969, uh -huh. and, and these came out a little bit before then. Uh, I was an avid comic book collector, and, and at that time, you could buy every Marvel comic that came out for two dollars a month. Oh, wow! Really? That, that wasn't a huge amount of money for me back then at that age, and so I bought them all. I also bought all the DC comics and all the other companies' comics. And then Marvel came out with these things called mini books. And they were about the size of a, po they're smaller than a postage stamp. And the only way to find them was in vending machines. So I had to, <laughs> I had to spend a lot of money and a lot of time in vending machines, pumping coins in, trying to catch all six of them. <laughs> Because you never knew which, which, what you were going to get in the vending machine. Right. And it, I de developed a, a fierce gambling habit. I looked like one of the little old ladies in Las Vegas <laughs> pumping coins into the slot machines. But I finally got all six of them. And uh, there were treasured keepsakes, these little tiny comic books you could barely read. And they fell apart if you turned the pages too fast. And then, you know, years later, this, the publisher I worked for, sometimes Abrams Books, came to me and said, we're going to reissue them. And we're blowing them up in size. The, the, the original books, like I said, were under, uh, um, they were like seven eighths of an inch tall. And now they've reprinted them in oh what God. is huge <laughs> compared to the original size. The drawing and writing have not gotten any better over the years. They, they was, these were not done by the first string people. It was, a, it was a premium. But I was so obsessed with this idea of owning all the Marvel comics, I had to have all six of these. <laughs> so I think these cost me about nine dollars worth of quarters to uh, to amass. And now you can buy it. a whole bo a box set of the uh, of of all of them blown up to uh, a legible size. Bo this box set looks like this. Um, what else do you want to know? <laughs> I want to know this. Okay, so a that's a great story. I just see you pumping quarters into this machine, but. Did you guys have, I mean, like when you were working with Jack Kirby back in the day and everything, did you have any idea that the future culture would be mm. wrapped around what was going on at Marvel then? Uh, Jack did. That, that was one of the things that was amazing about this man. He was a visionary. He predicted, he actually predicted to his, he was not paid very well. He was not treated very well by his publishers. And he said to them, um, you should treat me better. You should pay me better. The day is going to come when they'll be making giant movies of Thor and oh Spider-Man and the Hulk, and these characters will be worth a billion dollars. Did he mail and that or what? His publishers thought he was demented and, and it was insane. And the guy who owned Marvel Comics at that time sold the whole company one day for $6 million, which is about... With Jeff, when Jack heard that, he said, oh, that's worth about... Uh, that's about one tenth what Ant Man alone is worth. Wow. <laughs> and and uh, he yeah he saw it all coming. He he predicted the big convention in San Diego. He predicted <laughs> the whole this wow. whole thing. And you know it's tough to get your due, to get your proper compensation, to get your proper respect from people who cannot see past this week's grosses. Um, you know so. 
you know, the day will come, obviously, when this show will be worth billions of dollars that I'm on right now. <laughs> and, 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 but you can't convince your bosses of that to pay you accordingly. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. I got one of these from my uncle, one of the little tiny mini books mm -hmm. when I was a, when I was a kid. He was a big collector too, and he just gave me one of those. And like you said, they just fell apart. I wish I still had it. It was it was like a joy to have this little tiny thing in my hands. I felt like a giant yeah. holding it. Uh, we yeah. can get this on uh, Amazon right now, right? And I'm sure you can get anything on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, can we talk to you again soon? Can I? Whatever you whatever you'd like. I just sit here and do nothing all day. Okay. That's all. All right. Well, I doubt then, that. Then now that I've got your number, I'll call you all the time. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. Seriously, that thank, was great. Thank you for having me on. I love talking about Jack Kirby. Thank you. Um, uh, so you can get the Marvel mini books, and then there's um, there's a whole collection, and then Mark wrote a, a, a seventh book that you can read all about it. That's so cool. Part of the I don't know if people understand that he the fact that he interned with Jack Kirby. Which is adjacent to Stan Lee. Like, I, I don't know if people understand how big a deal that is. Yeah. That he interned with the that Jack like, Kirby. I was a production assistant yeah. for Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> <laughs> you know, basically, exactly. that's what you're talking it's about. The, same the type founding father. And, and the fact that Jack Kirby knew that this was going to happen is crazy. Wow. It's absolutely crazy. That, yeah, we need to talk to him again. Uh, we got to keep going. Yeah, that's good. I, I apologize that's good, to Mark. Though. I'm going to bug him every time a Marvel <laughs> thing goes out.